Yeah, the Dark Star is Sirius, Sirius is the Dark Star, not the North Star. So the name of this star is sensibly Polaris. Polaris, the North Star, long regarded as a celestial compass and a fixture in the night sky, has undergone a cataclysmic transformation that has stunned the astronomical community. According to Neil deGrasse Tyson, the legendary astrophysicist and science communicator, Polaris has just exploded in a supernova event of staggering magnitude, an occurrence that not only challenges our understanding of stellar evolution, but also raises urgent questions about the chain reactions unfolding in its aftermath. For centuries, Polaris has served as a guiding light for navigators, travelers, and astronomers alike. Its fixed position in the northern sky made it a beacon of orientation. But now, that reliability has been shattered by a cosmic upheaval that reverberates far beyond the loss of a symbolic star. Before we start, hit the like and subscribe buttons for more exclusive news. The moment Tyson shared the revelation, the scientific world was jolted into attention. The implications of Polaris's explosion reach far beyond mere symbolic value. This is not just any star. Polaris is a Cepheid variable, a type of star critical to the measurement of cosmic distances. For years, it pulsed with rhythmic regularity, allowing scientists to fine-tune measurements that helped estimate the scale of the universe. The explosion of such a key stellar entity is a blow to astronomical benchmarks. Its destruction introduces an abrupt discontinuity into the calibration of cosmic distances, potentially undermining a foundation upon which much of modern astrophysics is built. When a star like Polaris explodes, it's not a quiet or elegant event. It's violent, ferocious, and releases energy that dwarfs anything humanity has ever witnessed or imagined. The detonation sends a shockwave of matter and radiation screaming through space at a significant fraction of the speed of light. In the immediate vicinity of Polaris, a maelstrom of chaos now reigns. Stellar matter is being ejected in all directions, forming a rapidly expanding shell of high-energy plasma. Electromagnetic emissions flood the surrounding interstellar medium. The sheer luminosity of the explosion likely outshines entire galaxies for a brief period. While Polaris is over 400 light-years away from Earth, the energy it released during its supernova will reverberate throughout the Milky Way for millennia. The real terror of such an explosion isn't just in the spectacle, but in the unknowns that follow. One of the most haunting implications is the possibility of a gamma-ray burst being unleashed in the wake of the supernova. Though rare and directional, a gamma-ray burst pointed toward Earth, even from hundreds of light-years away, could strip our planet's atmosphere of protective layers, wreaking havoc on ecosystems and technological infrastructure. So far, there's no confirmation of such a burst, but the scientific community is watching intently, instruments trained to detect any anomalies in the high-energy spectrum. What Tyson brought to light isn't simply an astronomical event, it's a seismic shift in our cosmic awareness. Polaris was not expected to explode so soon. Based on models of stellar life cycles, it should have had thousands, if not millions of years left before reaching this terminal phase. This premature detonation suggests that something might be flawed in our understanding of stellar aging. Was there an external trigger that accelerated its demise? Did Polaris conceal an internal instability that evaded detection until it was too late? Or worse, could this be the first domino in a larger sequence of stellar instabilities spreading through our galactic neighborhood? The idea that Polaris could explode without warning undermines the confidence astronomers have had in their ability to predict stellar behavior. And if Polaris can betray expectations, what other stars might follow suit? Nearby giants like Betelgeuse, long suspected of nearing its own supernova phase, now warrant even more scrutiny. The explosion of a relatively stable Cepheid variable throws our predictive frameworks into chaos. Astrophysicists are now combing through decades of observational data, reanalyzing spectral emissions and brightness curves, hunting for missed signals or subtle anomalies that could have hinted at Polaris's impending detonation. But the implications extend beyond theoretical astrophysics. Earth's technological systems are now vulnerable to the ripple effects of this cosmic blast. Charged particles and radiation traveling from the explosion could begin interacting with Earth's magnetosphere. Although the star is far enough that life itself isn't under direct threat from heat or physical debris, the electromagnetic disturbances could still pose a real danger. Satellites, communication systems, and even power grids are susceptible to geomagnetic disturbances triggered by high-energy particles. 
As the shock front from the supernova continues to expand, it will likely interact with clouds of interstellar gas and dust, generating secondary emissions that could wash over Earth intermittently over the coming decades. Another layer of mystery and concern lies in how Polaris's explosion may affect the surrounding stellar neighborhood. Polaris is part of a multi-star system, with at least two known stellar companions. The dynamics of such systems are delicate, and the violent ejection of matter from a supernova can dramatically alter gravitational balances. It's plausible that the companion stars are now being hurled into new trajectories, potentially becoming rogue stars. Stellar nomads cast adrift through the galaxy, unpredictable and dangerous. These orphaned stars can eventually interact with other stellar systems or even pass near our own, introducing chaotic influences into the otherwise orderly gravitational ballet of the Milky Way. Perhaps the most chilling aspect of Tyson's revelation is the broader philosophical implication. If Polaris, the unwavering star, can vanish in a heartbeat, so too can the comforting certainties we hold about the universe. For centuries, Polaris has been synonymous with constancy. It anchored the concept of true north in navigation, both literal and metaphorical. With its disappearance, humanity faces a potent reminder that even the most enduring cosmic features are impermanent. The psychological weight of such a transformation cannot be understated. It shakes the foundations of how we perceive our place in the universe. This explosion also opens a new frontier in the study of cosmic rays. High-energy particles from the supernova are already en route to our solar system and their eventual arrival will provide a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to study material ejected directly from a nearby supernova. These particles may carry information about the core processes of stellar death, nucleosynthesis, and the generation of heavy elements. Laboratories across the world are preparing to capture and analyze these cosmic messengers, hoping to glean insights that were previously only accessible through distant observations or theoretical models. The way Polaris died could also shed light on dark matter and energy. There are theories that suggest core collapse supernova might interact with or be influenced by dark matter concentrations. If any anomalies are found in the energy distribution or particle emissions from the explosion, they might hint at interactions beyond the standard model of physics. In this sense, Polaris could serve as both a tragedy and a key. Its death potentially unlocking new paradigms in our understanding of matter, gravity, and the fundamental forces of the cosmos. Polaris's explosion also disrupts our understanding of seafeed variables as standard candles. For decades, these pulsating stars were used as benchmarks to measure distances to faraway galaxies. They were considered reliable because of the strict relationship between their pulsation periods and intrinsic brightness. Polaris, being one of the most well-studied cepheids, was instrumental in refining this method. Its explosion now calls into question whether there are hidden instabilities in these stars that we have failed to detect. This could mean that distance measurements across the universe might need to be revisited, potentially altering the estimated size and age of the cosmos. As the immediate shock of Tyson's announcement settles, scientists are grappling with the new reality. The data streaming in from observatories around the globe reveals increasingly complex behavior in the wake of the explosion. High-resolution spectroscopy has identified rapidly moving shells of ionized gas expanding in concentric waves. X-ray telescopes are capturing flickering emissions, suggesting continued internal activity or interactions with circumstellar material. Radio telescopes are now detecting bursts of low-frequency radiation, possibly indicating magnetic reconnections or turbulence within the debris field. While Polaris is gone from its place in the sky, its presence looms larger than ever in scientific inquiry. The theoretical models that once confidently predicted its life cycle must now be rewritten. Stellar evolution as a field is undergoing a fundamental reevaluation. Younger astronomers, inspired by Tyson's declaration, are diving into stellar archives, running simulations, and asking previously unthinkable questions. Did Polaris hold secrets about binary interactions, magnetic field collapse, or exotic matter states? Could its detonation be part of a broader pattern we have yet to recognize? And if Polaris wasn't as stable as we thought, are there other Cepheids on the brink that we are misjudging? The ripple effects reach into education too. For decades, textbooks and star charts have featured Polaris as a cornerstone of sky maps. Now, teachers and astronomers alike must reconcile how to present a sky without its guiding light. 
The loss forces a pedagogical shift, encouraging students to understand the dynamic and sometimes unpredictable nature of the universe, rather than seeing it as a static backdrop. If you liked this video, please give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Also, could you leave your comments below and tell us? What are your thoughts on Polaris exploding? What do you think will happen next? We want to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.